Okay, so here we are in Fireworks, and I'm going to um, show you how um, I normally mock up my designs and and uh, show you some of the tips and tricks that I use whenever I design a website. So um, the tool that I like using is Fireworks. Most people use Photoshop. Um, you can pretty much do the same thing um, in both. So uh, uh, you can follow along and sort of sort of uh, apply these things in both Photoshop and as well as Fireworks. So uh, right off the bat, um, this is the framework for my site. I normally stay within 900. I try to stay within 960 um, to keep it um, uh, for the sake of staying within 1024 by 768. That's the, the standard browser for most people. Um, so what I try to do is I build, I normally build this this these sort of boxes here as my framework. So up top here I have a header um, below here in this area here is what I call my billboard and uh, this area here is my copy and the footer. So you have the header, billboard, copy, and footer. And if I pan out you can see there's just four simple boxes. And so what I generally do is uh, I've built, I have some things built, pre-built for time's sake. Um, but what I normally do is I would have a logo um, on your left hand side and navigation on the right and for this fake website that I'm building uh, we just I just created a a simple logo called design company and added a little star to it so um, for the billboard section um, this is where some design sort of uh, comes into play here you want to be creative with this area and a simple trick that I like to or simple tip that I like to use is um, I'll, I'll normally jump over to iStock photo and grab some photos and uh, sort of apply in that that area and I like to use um, large backgrounds so for an example um, I I think if you use a sky if you sort of use sky or something that shows the outside world um, it actually opens up your design to um, to uh, subconsciously to a user that hey you know it's it's sort of alive and it's you know I'm looking outside you're not just inside in, a, in an office um, that sort of closed doors you're sort of um, open to the world so um, what I'm gonna do is use a photo that I like um, that I had stored and uh, it's it shows the sky uh, as well as the some grass and you're gonna see how well that comes together so what I'll do um, I normally I put the photo in the back and make my my square object white and I just mask uh, these two together and you'll see that the my billboard now has a nice background that shows the sky nice blue sky with a nice gradient as well as some grass and below that uh, well let's just add some let's add some simple text to it so what I'll do here um, I'll grab the um, I'll just make a copy from the text here and let's, let's have some uh, marketing message here. It says, uh, we design beautiful things. Okay, it's our little marketing line that we'll, we'll use just for this example. And uh, uh, without too much thought, um, leave it at that. Uh, we design beautiful things. I don't know if we need it bold. Let's make it, let's put a little drop shadow on that just to uh, make it stand out a little bit more. Alrighty. So bingo. Okay. Now for in, in fireworks, the cool thing is you can either hit F12 or you can quickly um, use that option to browse within uh, to see it within a browser. So right away, I can see my design in full screen mode, uh, in full view, and to see what it looks like within a browser. So right now it's looking good. Uh, let's continue. So back to fireworks. Um, for this section, for the copy section, I normally break it up in three sections, and I've pre-built. Um, 
some things there, some copy, um, and I'll show you. Uh, what I'll do, um, what I normally like to do, is break it up in three sections. You normally have welcome. I'll normally have welcome text on the left. Uh, you might use the middle for in, for for articles or blog posts or tweets or whatever you want to do. And the right side is more more filler. You might want to show photo photos, portfolio pieces, or things like that. Um, um, so it's totally up to you to interchange these parts. Um, I like to look at it as you have three three areas to advertise. You have your billboard, you have uh, and then these three boxes: one, two, and three. So there you have it. Um, let's take a look at our site and see how it's coming along. Um, so there you have it. it's a clean, simple site with a lot of white space, um, which I love. My philosophy is keep it simple, and so far this site is pretty clean, pretty straightforward, and um, uh, very, very uh, aesthetically pleasing. So um, continue on. Um, you norm I'll normally have my footer at the bottom here, and uh, that's just a simple footer. You can either center it. Uh, you can draw a line here to to break it break it up a little bit, but in this case, I'm going to show you um, how to take this design a little further uh, than just white space. Right now, it's very clean, very simple, and uh, very plain. Which, in some cases, this is used a lot for agencies and um, design companies. They normally go with the white space, but I'm going to take it a little further and show you how uh, we can really um, spoof it up. Okay, so here we have a simple, nice, clean website, but I want to add more to it. Um, and if you want to add more to a simple website, simple, simple, plain, what you can do is grab a large photo from iStock Photo. And what I like to do is just plop it right on my canvas here, and drop it to the background. And I make my canvas, turn my canvas to black, and I turn the opacity down on my image to about say 18 to 20 so it gives it a nice dark transparent background um, and with some with with a nice graphic design to it um, so it really brings out the the design so in this case I have to make everything white um, within my header as you can see everything now here has to turn to white let's uh, and uh, what I have to do here for my body is add a white background. Let's see. And then um, my footer is there. Let's add a little drop shadow to the design just to give it a little. Just to give it a little something something all right so there you have it um, alrighty so let's do F12 or we can just preview in browser and see what our site looks like and in browser mode So there you have it. You have a nice clean design with a nice billboard, uh, nice copy with the white background, and um, your footer there. And you see in the background there's a nice transparent image that sort of um, really, really complements the entire design. So hopefully um, you can see that, and, and hopefully this was useful. And um, uh, thanks for watching.